1850, Japan was a feudal society run by a military government, an emperor, and sword-wielding samurai. Within 20 years, the country was totally transformed into a new kind of modern industrializing society. Here is the story behind it. Japan is comprised of four major islands, Hokkaido, Shikoku, Kyushu, and Honshu, the largest. Kyoto is, was a religious capital, where the emperor lived. The emperor was a semi-divine being in the country's natural religion, Shinto, a combination of Jesus and the Pope. Buddhism is also very important in Japan. Edo, modern-day Tokyo, was the administrative capital where the military government was, called the Bukufu. To the west lies the Sea of Japan, separating Japan from its neighbor China. Traditionally, Japan was very influenced by China, including their Confucian social classes. At the top of the system are the scholar gentry, then followed by the peasants, then artisans, then merchants, and finally, soldiers, actors, and prostitutes. However, unlike China, the Japanese did not adopt an exam system for entry into the government, thus making Japan more like France in a traditional and monarchical system. The feudal system is also dynastic, led by a central king called a shogun and great lords called daimyo, rolling over the provinces. The ruling family, the Tokugawa, began in 1603. In the 1630s, reacting to the spread of Christianity, he began implementing something called Sokoku, which expelled all foreign countries except China and Holland. Japan was divided over what to do about foreigners wanting to trade into those who believed in expelling the barbarians and going to war, called Joi, and those who thought Japan should open up, called Kaikoku. One samurai, Seshisai, worried about opening trade with foreigners, believing they were inferior. According to him, countries, particularly America, were located at the rear end of the world. They were, therefore, barbaric. In 1853, the Americans sent Commodore Perry and three threatening black warships to try to open Japan with a trade treaty. Through this attempt, Japan and America signed the Treaty of Kanagawa in 1854. The Japanese referred to it as the Ansei, or Unfair Treaties. This treaty forced Japan to open ports and start trading with the United States. Following this initial opening, the emperor threw out the shogun and took complete power. He started to modernize Japan so that they would not be an easy target for the western countries to take over, as Britain had done in the Opium Wars. The Meiji Emperor started this with the Charter Oath in 1868, which intended to modernize Japan. This included instructions from the emperor that all Japanese people had to follow, such as getting rid of evil customs of the past. The emperor then brought in foreign experts called Oyatoi, who would teach how modern societies are run. Also, Japanese people were sent abroad to gather the best parts of the nations so that Japan could create a more modern and advanced nation. And they modeled their new institutions on the best examples that they could find, like the Navy, the Navy from the UK, the Army from Prussia, and the university and schooling became more westernized. Powerful and influential families were given industries to replace their old feudal domains. These new big family-run industries were called zaibatsu and were intended to control and promote industrialization in Japan. Also, other feudal privileges were abolished as part of this modernization, such as the right of samurai to carry two swords or wear the top knot. Eventually, after all this modernization, Japan had a strong army and navy so that when Japan went to war with China in 1894 and then Russia in 1904, Japan defeated both. This caused them to become a big imperial power. In their war with China, they gained Korea, and after their battle with Russia, they took over the port of Arthur. Japan had become a modern power. Fun fact, Meiji Emperor died the same year as the park school was founded. Coincidence?